Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that was a sad intro. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Ash Gray, my amazing Pokemon series. That was a little bit arrogant, wasn't it? My, my amazing Pokemon series. No, just welcome back to the Pokemon series, guys. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I certainly am. And uh, a little bit of a recap. In the last episode, I finally defeated the uh, Pewter City Gym Leader, Brock. And now I am on my way to Mount Moon. But first, I gotta wreck some trainers. Go Caterpie. What a mismatch we have here. Oh my goodness, I forgot to heal my Pokemon. We're gonna have to sprint back to the Pokemon Center after this battle. Poor little Pidgeotto is just unconscious inside that Pokeball. Oh, not very effective. And it's a critical hit. That must be a, uh, a little kick to the self-esteem, seeing how uh, that, that didn't do much damage to me. Thundershock. There we go. Take a nap. Oh, <sighs> so yeah, I struggled uh, back there trying to defeat Brock. That took quite a few attempts. I can't remember how many attempts it took. I'm gonna, if I remember correctly, I think it was three. It might have taken four. I know I was just really struggling, but I powered through, and I finally was able to pick up the victory. And now I have the Boulder Badge. And we are on our way to Mount Moon, and then from there we will go for our second gym badge. But there is going to be plenty of stuff in between. At least I think I think that we have to fight the guy who has the Sand Shrew, the like guy who's like a beast and has only lost like he's he's like 99 wins and zero losses. Do you remember that guy? And his Sand Shrew just wrecked everybody. And by everybody, I just mean Butterfree and Pidgeotto. Oh, speaking of which, I gotta make sure my Caterpie evolves soon. I think he evolves at his next level. <sighs> I'm very tired, by the way, guys. It's only 10 p.m. It's 10, 14 p.m. in Jimmy Land. And it's a Friday night, and I think I'm going to go to bed right after I record this episode. I've uh, been working two jobs uh, the last few days, and uh, like physical labor, and it's made me really, really tired. So I think I'm gonna catch up on some sleep this weekend, but I do have work tomorrow night. But I'll be able to sleep in, so I think I'm just gonna get an early, get an early jump on that. Maybe I'll sleep like 12 hours. Did you? I heard, I heard a study was done, and they found out that if you sleep more than eight hours a night, or less than eight hours a night, both. Like I'm saying, if you sleep eight hours is like the perfect time, but if you sleep like an hour or two more. Or an hour or two less than that every day, you are gonna have an unhealthy life. At least that's what that's what I, that study said. I'm pretty sure, but I have no idea. I can't even cite my sources. Something about snakes. These kids talk about snake Pokemon. I don't even know what he's talking about. Youngster Joey, youngster Ben, Ratatata, go Pidgeotto. Hit him with that gust attack. Nice. Oh no, he's in tail whip! My defense fell! I'm so scared! Psych, hit him with that quick attack! And that is the end of Rattata. Bam! Pidgeotto is just growing. Ekans. Alright, we'll switch it out just for this, just to get the XP. Hopefully nobody gets poisoned or I'm gonna look like a fool. Alright, Caterpie. Look at Caterpie's, like, Caterpie's definitely going to grow to level 7 on this one. Oh, no, they intimidate. Alright, relax. Who are we going with? Pikachu. Pikachu needs to grow a few levels. Especially since we're going to have to fight uh, the water Pokemon in that next gym. Please don't get poisoned. Please don't get poisoned. Whew. Thundershock. Hopefully that'll be the end of Ekans. I really hope there's a Pokemon Center... Uh, right before you go in the Mount Moon. I know in the original games, there is a Pokemon Center right before you go in. Uh, but who knows? This game is a little bit different, as you guys have seen so far. It's actually been pretty consistent, the map layouts, with the other game. But w once you get further into this game, it's like a completely different game. The map layout's not the same as the original game. There goes Caterpie, level 7. Great. But there's like whole new areas that weren't even in the original games that were just custom made for this game. It's, it's actually a really awesome game. 176. Is Caterpie evolving? Yes! What? Caterpie is evolving? I almost hit uh, the B key on accident just now. That would have been a disgrace. 
here we go. Turn into Metapod. So I was watching uh, through these videos with George on YouTube. Uh, obviously, because it's the only place we're going to watch these videos. That's where it gets uploaded. But he saw the uh, sprite for uh, Metapod. And uh, he was like, that looks awful. And I, I, I would have to agree. I don't really like the way Metapod looks here. I learned Harden. That is going to come in handy. Oh, do you see? He just turned around real fast. Will you provide my evolution solution? What is he talking about? All right, who's this? Bug Catcher Greg would like the battle. Oh, he's got tons of Pokemon. Pidgeotto is just gonna have a ball out here, hitting him with all gust attacks and gaining all that XP. Oh, little Weedles taking a nap. I bet he has like seven more Weedles, even though it's impossible because you only have six Pokemon at a time. Kakuna, switching it up. This will give me a little bit more XP because, you know, it's a evolved form of Weedle. Pidgeotto is just going to be... Pidgeotto is going to be level 16 by the end of this battle, I hope. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's a Caterpie and a Metapod. There's Caterpie. This is, this is going to be a quick one. He just has to just be so demoralizing for this bug catcher. Just see every one of his Pokemon just one hit KO'd. That has just got to be heartbreaking. I really hope he doesn't give up on his hopes and dreams of becoming a uh, amazing Pokemon trainer. Because this, if I was him, I'd probably just give up on my dream right now. I'd see all my Pokemon just get wrecked. Or, or I would actually be smart and I would catch more than one type of Pokemon so that this wouldn't happen to me. I would catch different types, you know, like a normal Pokemon trainer would do. Oh, level 16. There it is, Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto is definitely the leader of this team right now. One step forward, two steps back. I don't think you took any steps forward, so technically I guess I'd be three steps back. No, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't even know if that made sense. How did you find me here? I don't know. Just walking. Look at that. What a slut. You see the way she's showing off her butt? Last Sally sent out Rattata. Alright, let's go Rattata. I probably definitely should put Pikachu in the front of the party in a second because he definitely needs to start uh, gaining some levels before he falls too far behind Pidgeotto. Especially since I'm going to be in the uh, Rock Cave and Pidgeotto is going to be weak against all the, the Rock Cave, Mount Moon, and Pidgeotto is going to be weak against all those uh, Geodudes and Onyxes. Was it just Nidorina? Nidoran? Something? Look at Metapod. All right, Pikachu, let's do this. Hit him with the Thundershock. Oh, we're growing to level 13. We're growing to level 13. This is a big day for everybody. Oh no, my defense fell. Pikachu's defense fell. Oh no, use Thundershock. That's my loose impression of Kevin Hart's loose impression of women. So that's like a loose... Impressionception. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just making stuff up now. Level 13. Oh, last Sally just can't believe. I was hiding. Yeah, I'm sure you were, you dirty little girl. All right. Did you come through Viridian Forest too? Well, seeing as that's literally the only way to get here. Yes, I did. Colton's about to battle. Come on. What you got, Colton? Caterpie? Shocker. Oh, prepare to just be absolutely depressed after this battle, my friend. Ugh. Caterpie just stood no chance. This is how I felt. I What the bug catcher is feeling right now... Obviously, the bug catcher is not feeling anything because it's a game. But if this bug catcher were a real person... I don't know why I just tried to switch Pokemon. The feelings he'd be having right now of just pure depression and helplessness... That's what I was feeling when I was facing Brock. I just felt like there was nothing I could do. I just had to watch Pidgeotto and Pikachu and Caterpie just get abused. And just beat into a pulp by all their rock slides and rock smashes or whatever the move is. Rock throw. Alright, another Caterpie. Here we go. This episode is coming to a close soon. This has just been an episode of straight up Pokemon battles. A lot of action to this one. I've only gone like 30 steps from Pewter City though. Made like no progress. 
Oh, so close to level 17. I could almost taste it. So let's see, let's try to fit another Pokemon battle or two in this one before I call it quits. You guys sprint. Already, oh, no, 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 go that way. I already went this way. Time to fight this youngster. Oh, I wonder what kind of Pokemon are in that grass. My Pokemon likes to suck blood! Isn't that awesome? No, that's the opposite of awesome. What Pokemon does he have? A Zubat? Yeah, makes sense. I was gonna say, I don't know what Pokemon sucks blood. Alright, Gust Attack. Let's just end this. Put this Zubat out of its misery. Oof, I wish I did one. I wish I just killed it with one hit. Another Gust Attack. Ought to do it! Say goodnight, you little pest. And that is that. Oh, level 17. Pidgeotto is just a boss! I'm so happy I caught Pidgeotto. Youngster Calvin is not pleased. That sucked! Ooh, you can't say that in a Pokemon game. I mean, obviously sucks not a curse word, but... Oh, why is she walking? She was walking! I didn't know they could walk. My Puff Puff is adorable. Go on, take a look. That sounds super inappropriate, and I wonder if they did that on purpose. Last Robin wants a battle. Obviously, it's a, yeah, I knew it was a Jigglypuff, but the way she said it, you know that was supposed to be flirty in a dirty way. My p my Puff Puff is adorable. Take a look. Yeah. Okay. Well, this Puff Puff is about to get knocked out by my Pidgeotto, because my Pidgeotto is tough, tough. Oh, you see what I did there? Oh, it disabled Gust! <laughs> Lame! Alright, let's just end it. I gotta end this episode anyways. I was gonna throw in Pikachu and get him some XP. Oh, critical hit. And that is just the end of Jigglypuff. And... Oh, I don't know why I thought I was gonna get to level 18. I wasn't even close. Adorable, even in defeat. Alright, got some money. Alright, guys! Well, that is the... I'm gonna go into this tall grass in the next episode. Alright, let's just go in here now and see what the first Pokemon is. We won't even finish the battle. Ah, oh, Pidgey. Lame! Alright guys, I will see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Ash Gray. Thank you for joining us, and have a wonderful day. Ah, oh, dang it, I hate when I reveal this little play and power bar down there. Makes me feel dirty for using an emulator. Alright guys, catch you on the flippity flip.